today on Rachel Ray. Rachel! Can you really get an instant facelift? Find out in an all-new Instant Human Lab. The company claims that it works literally within minutes. Rach investigates elementary's Johnny Lee Miller. Do you have a talent other than acting? Well, I have many talents. Many talents. And you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure out that skillet plus dessert equals delicious. And now, are you ready for Rachel? Gossiping with one of our show's good friends here. All right, let me fill you in on what we're going to do first. I think everybody, men and women, um, wish, you, you know, as they get older, uh, for most of us, it's once you hit 40, that, that's just sort of like your mental roadblock. 40 and after, everybody wishes they could turn back the hands of time. Everybody wants to look a little younger, a little better rested. So today we've got two of our viewers, and they're going to be testing out products that claim to take years off your face without having to go under the knife. It's one of our little human labs. It's a human lab instant facelift. And here to give us the scoop on the products we're going to be testing in today's show is board-certified dermatologist. She's not only beautiful, but she's fun to talk to. She's lovely inside and out. This lovely lady is Dr. Whitney Bow. And I'm going Whitney, we were chatting before the show. You're a dermatologist. You, you look like you would be decades from having to make the choice. But would you ever go under a knife? Well, actually, if you didn't need the surgery. I'm actually looking younger every year. I think I'm in a really good field. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I mean, I'm very open to doing things. I already do lots of things on myself. Right. Um, you know, my staff walks by and they catch me sort of with the needle looking in the mirror. And, you know, so I'm very proactive But you don't really have to go under it. a knife anymore, right? Nowadays, you know, the needle supposedly is the new knife. And, you know, in a lot of ways, there are so many different options as far as minimally invasive and non-invasive procedures go that in a way, if you're sort of proactive about the aging process, you kind of never need to do anything dramatic or drastic. Um, so talk to me about what's new and what you can do if you go to a dermatologist. Everybody sees commercials for Botox. Right. I'm sure that's still very popular. So right? it is. So the botulinum toxins are extremely popular, even more so than ever before, because we're actually using them a lot prophylactically and preventatively. Huh. So I'm seeing a lot of patients in their late 20s who are coming no. and say, you know, my older sister, my mother no had these etched in lines and they came to their dermatologist and the dermatologist said, had they just come in five, 10 years younger, they wouldn't have had to go through it all would of break, this. Oh, I see. It would break the habit before exactly. the lines are created. It almost like retrains the muscle. I see. Exactly. So I that's see. very popular. Wow, I didn't even think about that. I didn't think that it was used in that way. Exactly. What's new? What's something we haven't heard of yet or something, something that's new coming things, up? You know, we're doing a lot of liquid facelifts now. And they're kind of injectable procedures that now, the new indications, they actually last for more than even two years, two to three years at a time. So Again, I thought this was the kind of thing that, that you have to go regularly. It's a hamster you're like, wheel. Best friends with your dermatologist right, right, right. is seeing them every three to four months. We now have much more long-lasting products. Amazing. I also use over 50 lasers and light devices for wow. tightening, non-invasive body contouring, you know, changing My God, the this shape. is so... Do you guys remember Logan's Run? Is anybody as old as I am? When Farrah Fawcett goes in and she comes out like four minutes later looking 12? It's so cool. Exactly. Actually, I think she so. gets murdered. The machine goes crazy on her but she looks really good right before that. <laughs> so we're going to look at, these are two affordable options, right? I mean, the, the truth is that the procedures that I do, they can be thousands. I mean, this, right. this is not cheap stuff. Right. So, you know, if you're looking to try to turn back the clock on a budget, you know, in the privacy of your own home, you know, there are new options. And we used to think of makeup as just like a camouflage, you know, just a cover up. Right. You know, it sort of covers up your flaws or the problem spots right. on your skin. But actually, there's some recent technologies emerging that allow makeup to act even a little bit more like a device. It almost like changes the behavior of the skin right. while it sits on the skin. So we're right, going well, to be testing let's, out. All right, let's get to our first viewer. This lovely lady is Donna. Donna, everybody, <laughs> everybody <laughs> Donna. So Donna, can you, I think you're very lovely and this color is so lovely Thank on you. you, but can you tell everyone what your issue is with your face that makes you feel a little self-conscious? Sure. Well, I just turned 59. Oh my and God! I, you are yeah. stunning. <laughs> Thank you. She's fifty-nine. Genetically uh, blessed. Yes, yeah. sweetie, <laughs> you are gorgeous. Yes. Thank you. But um, over the last, I'd say, ten years, I see my face start drooping, and especially my under eyes. I've tried everything from the roller balls to patches to 
hemorrhoid cream to everything else you know, in the market. And I heard else. a couple people chuckle, but that's been like a, 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 I don't know what you'd call it, a sort of an urban myth or something. For I've heard it since I was a child that ladies, yeah. if they put a yeah. little hemorrhoid cream on, and it does work a little, right? It'll it actually tighten it restricts up. the blood vessels, so uh -huh. it can help with like those under eye bag areas. Right. But a lot of hemorrhoid creams have cortisone in them. And cortisone over time can actually thin the skin and make things worse. And make it worse. Yeah. So it's right. like a quick fix yeah. in that one so time. So it's really but you don't made really for the other again. area of your body, kids. And it smells really bad. And, and it, it burns. smells bad. And, and it burns. burns. So, okay. so if I spoke to Donna in my office, you know, when we met right. and we were having a consultation, I'd probably recommend doing a combination of injectables and possibly even lasers underneath the eye. Minimum a thousand dollars. You can use a laser underneath your eye. Absolutely. To even build though the, the skin's collagen really and tighten the area. Really Really? Mm -hmm. Even though it's very delicate? Yep. And the laser tends to work beautifully there. Wow. Wow. But it's wow. expensive. <laughs> God, I want to, like, live next door to her. <laughs> Move in. Man, you That's and me. I, we'd look 12. Let's go do it. And I'd be All very right, well fed. So all kidding we aside, though, we're going to try a product this here. It's more accessible, right? ageless. Yes. Okay. So this is a product by Jeunesse. And it's about, you know, $75 for, I believe, almost like 50 applications. Oh, my so it's God. quite a long time. Clearly at a fraction of the cost of what I would do right. in my office. So, you know, we'll go backstage. We'll test it out. It's a cream. Okay. You literally just put it on. So we'll put on a really thin layer, and we're going to see if it sort of lives up to the See if it makes any claims. difference. Right. Exactly. Okay. Right. All right, let's pop over to the next station. So this is Jen. Hi, Jen. Look at Jen. She's a, a really, really pretty lady with beautiful blue eyes and blonde yeah. hair. What is your what is your grief about your face? It's a very lovely face. Well, I get these lines between my eyes and I look like I'll just be sitting there happy as can be and someone will be like, Why are you so angry? And I'm not angry. So this is what bothers lines. you. Like, yeah. The frown lines. Mm -hmm. These little well, guys here. The, the worry like, lines or frown lines, they call them. Yours are very faint to me. Do they look that bad to you? Angry elevens. Oh, right. angry elevens. Yeah, so I that. Very, very common complaint and sometimes it's not just the patient who, who it bothers it's the people who come oh are you upset are you angry and you're like no I'm actually perfectly fine right so that sometimes prompts people to come in very common it's caused by contracting those muscles between the eyebrows again and again day after day so you know if I met Jennifer in my office I talked to her about using one of those botulinum toxins to right, relax to break those the, muscles to break, break the habit exactly and sort of just relax it and open up and relax that area but again that's four to five hundred dollars per treatment Wow and it wears off in three months so she'd be coming every three so to four months. So that is one of the things that, that once one, you start you're not gonna necessarily... In the future mm -hmm. knock on wood we're gonna have some options that are gonna last longer but the ones that we have now really last about three to four months max. So Jen's going to be trying a product called Worry Less, which is actually very aptly named um, by a company called Dermaflage. So it's sort of like camouflage for the skin. It was actually developed by a special effects makeup artist in oh, Hollywood, no believe it or not, and it's based on silicone. So it's almost like a silly putty sort of effect where it's going to supposedly camouflage those angry 11s. So oh. We'll see. Who so knows? <laughs> she's going to literally fill it with silicone. You got it. Wow. That's Look, oh, she made the face. <laughs> okay, well, here's the plan. Uh, why don't you guys go with Whitney, go with Dr. Okay. Bo, and you make sure that they're following along to the manufacturer's directions and Absolutely. all that. Absolutely. And then we can meet back at the end of the show and see how everybody looks. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys. Oh, you know, that one talks what? 50 bucks and bucks? Yeah, that's what I'm to see how everything worked out in our human lab instant facelift. Dr. Whitney Bow is back with our two brave viewers who want to look younger, who doesn't. So let's, let's talk about Donna first. Let's remind everybody, um, Donna's issue was she felt a little insecure about having little bags or discoloration under her eyes. I think she's smoking hot. She's <laughs> 59 years old, as she gave up earlier in the show. She's gorgeous. But let's remind everybody what she looked like before. And then she went off to try a product um, called Instantly a Ageless. What's the company? How do you pronounce it? Jeunesse. Jeunesse. It's very French. Maker. <laughs> and it's less than $75 retail with 50 applications. So we're hoping that she's happy with the results because that would be really affordable yeah. and cool. 
Uh, how did both of the, the ladies fare backstage? It was easy to follow the directions? They are products? such great sports. Um, you know, this product, I feel like it's a little bit different between the two products. Okay. This product, I think, was relatively easy to okay. use. Okay. Spin around, Donna. Let's take a look. Can you see yourself there? Do you think there's any improvement? Um, it, it worked great. I think it worked great. It was um, a little bit cool, and then I could feel it tightening up. Yeah. Instantly, you could see a difference. Even the cameraman were like, wow, look at the difference. You could really see the difference. I put a little makeup over top. I'm not sure if that affected it or not, because I feel like the puffiness is coming back a little bit. So, I'm right. not sure. Right, so you sure. feel like it, when you first put it on, you saw a great result. You, I, I think you'd have to live with it a little bit, right? Right, right. So, yeah. I mean, but I would definitely use this product. I would definitely use it again. Okay. What do you think, Doc? So, this product, within minutes of applying it, it was actually a very dramatic rejuvenation within minutes. And what I think was happening is that there's, based on the active ingredients, I don't work for the company, but I looked at the active ingredients and I think it's the silicates that as they were drying, they were almost acting like shrink wrap. So oh, it was sort of so like lifting and tightening the skin everything and underneath tightening. the yep. skin. Huh. Now, however, as time went on, whether it's because you put makeup on top or because maybe there's a time limit to the product or the heat, humidity, temperature, who knows, it seems to be wearing off a little bit. So, you know, that initial effect, I think everyone in the room was, you know, literally gasping. Um, and now it's, you know, a little bit underwhelming. So maybe this is the kind of product we just need to use a little bit more, try to figure out, you know, do we layer this with products? Do we not layer this right, with other to, products? Like with anything, you have exactly. to figure it out. Exactly. Right? But, I mean, does this have potential? Definitely. I think we were really impressed yeah. at the beginning. All right, well, cool. She can take it home and keep on working with it. Why don't you pop over this side? So then we had Jen. So Jen... And um, she was worried about her angry 11s, they call them, or found lines. Uh, let's pop up her before picture. And Jen was um, trying a product that it doesn't claim to, you know, necessarily lift it or remove it, but more to fill it. Uh, it was this product here, right? Worryless by Dermaflage. Right. Not, not a huge investment. It said that it conceals uh, wrinkles instantly. Let's spin her around. Let's spin Jen around, and Jen can take a look and see what she thinks. We actually tried a bunch of times, and we ended up not using the product. Not because the product doesn't have potential and because it probably, you know, would work in the right person, but just because, you know, with Jennifer, um, it, was, it was a little bit technique dependent. And I think with silicones in general, the concept behind them is that they're basically acting almost like grout. So it's almost like cement that's sort of filling in the crevices on the skin. So what you want to do is you sort of have to be really fast because the silicone dries in a matter of seconds. Oh, like wow. Thing. So, you know, we sort of struggled with it and tried a couple times. I feel like this is not for everybody, but for someone who's good with their hands, willing to put in a little bit of practice, I think that, you know, technically this should work in the right person. In theory. In theory. Right. So what did you think, Jen? Um, I think in theory it's great, but um, for just, someone like me, I, I, I it just didn't it work just for too you. difficult. Yeah. Okay. Well, good news is you live um, near where this doctor <laughs> practices. In case you want to go in and get some of those really cool injectables she was telling us about. <laughs> Thanks. You know, we, we always say thank you to our viewers. They're such honest people, and they're such an important part of our programming. You know, it's not easy to come out and talk about things that you're self-conscious about, and it was nice. And